Good kitten, internet. Uh, it's been a week since I last played. I think it was a week. Um, yeah, I need to even connect things, but I couldn't resist the good kitten when there was a kitten literally coming up to me. Anyway, um, just setting things up. And let's go ahead and start. I'll just pause it while I'm running the initial start stuff. All right, there we go. Uh, go ahead and continue the game. I think I saved at the end of last time. Um, take a look at characters, see if they match the spreadsheet. Um, they don't. They're higher level. Did I not actually update the spreadsheet at the end of last time? Anyway, we need to change our party up a bit. So, I've been thinking and I've decided that while I definitely prefer Screech's spells, his hit points and defense are so low that he's just getting one-shotted by everything, and that's not a useful character to me. I already have to contend with Bowie constantly getting one-shotted. I really don't need somebody else getting one-shotted. So let's first get back the characters we're definitely keeping. And I was thinking about going back and popping in a... Um, whatchamacallit, another, um, basically editing my character to be a brass gunner instead of a, editing one of the archers to be a gr second brass gunner instead of a, um, whatchamacallit, um, the Pegasus wing that's useless, but I decided, eh, it's not worth it. So, first off, let's get back these characters. Don't want Tyran. Um, Charo's garbage. Taya as a brass gunner is kind of a hot mess. Only 59 attack. Whereas the rest of my archers are in the 60s. Let's go ahead and filter on brass gunners and snips and bow knights. There we go. Um, yeah. Taya would actually be the lowest attack of the force. Not worth it. Um, or lowest attack of my snipers. Taya is basically the same as Kazin. Only as a brass gunner. Bronze gunner. I want to try to change that to bronze gunner. Anyway. Um, so, not worth it. Jaro's garbage. Just, no. Uh, Higgins is the only paladin, that's true, but not worth it. Maybe if he was a flyer. Road. So, Road has no healing, but I suspect that fourth spell is Aura. The reason why I suspect that is that he doesn't have it yet. And there's very little in the game that you wouldn't have at least the first level of by the time that you're level 31. Or 32, actually. So, if it is Aura, Road would actually be a really good healer. But I already have two healers. Gerhalt, uh, he only has one offensive spell. Admittedly, it's a good one, but he only has one. Yeah, we're definitely bringing back you. I'm actually thinking about keeping Karna in. Although, again, I already have... Maybe I'll just keep Freya. Since I do have a Pegasus Knight now. Missing for my normal party anyway. So let's see. Bowie, Chester, 
Jaha, who's in my hand. Slade, Kiwi. Text message. Um, May, Luke, Rick, Ulrich, Randolph, Janet, Screech. Screech is the one that I'm considering replacing. So again, I like his spells. His spells are awesome. But his defenses and hit points are horrible. Yeah, 42 defense isn't the end of the world. It is the lowest of the party other than May. And Chester. And actually Bowie. But the problem is he only has 45 hit points. And that absolutely is the lowest of the party. Bine, 8. And that's my second lowest with a stupid high attack defense. Uh, I don't know if Screech can live long enough. Oh yeah, definitely throwing in Jaha. I think I'm gonna try using... Um... What's his face? Freya for a bit, also. Oops, that's not what I want to hit, but that'll work. Oh, oh. Also, I need to reorder things on the spreadsheet, so I realized that I got some things backwards. Chester, Jaha. Jaha's four. Kazin's five. Slade's six. It's the field that you all can't see. I have them ordered, that way I can just hit sort force order, and they'll actually come up in the correct order. Kiwi is seven. Peter is eight. May is nine. Kerhalt is ten. Luke's eleven. Rude is twelve. Do I have that? Road is 12. Rick is 13. Elric is 14. Eric is 15. Yep, yeah, this is where I have things messed up. Karna is 16. Randolph is 17. Tyrone is 18. Janet is 19. Higgins is 20. Screech is 21, Taya is 22, Freya is 23, and Jaro is 24. Anyway, we are going to move Freya into the force. And we are kicking out... Um, Yeah, we're kicking out Screech. So actually, insert cut cells here. Cut cut cells. Insert there. And redraw my box for my characters. There. Format cells. Excel. So, I think I may have just crashed Excel. Oh well, you know what? Good enough for now. <laughs> oh, nope, it actually finally went. There. Okay, so this is our force. Um, we're slightly off on XP apparently. I guess I should go back and correct that spreadsheet or the um, listing in the previous video. Uh, Chester is. 12.28 Jaha is 14.75 so is 13.18 Kiwi is 15.30 May is 12.54 Luke is 14.41 Rick is 14.16 Elric is 13.38 Randolph is 13.42, Janet is 12.64, and Freya is 13, right? Yeah, 13.0. And that also probably means that Screech is off. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to be right back because I need to update what I posted, and I don't want to forget about that. So, 
Be right back. There we go. Okay. So, last where we left off, we were going to Mount. We briefly entered the battle and then ran away because um, Freya got added to our party and kicked out Janet. And that's not cool. So, we've added Freya to our party and kicked out Janet. No, uh, we kicked out Screech. So, Freya's a Pegasus Knight. Oh, I didn't grab a better weapon for him. Yeah, I should do that. He needs all the help he can get. Well, egress it is, I guess. <sighs> Lots of false starts to this video, isn't there? Aren't there? I'm talking about plural. Seriously, how many notifications am I going to get? Ah. So I actually have to walk all the way back up to Tristan in order to be able to get better equipment. So I'm really curious about this pond here. This looks like the type of thing that should be where you hide mithril, but it's just, there's nothing there dealing with it. It's just pretty background. By the way, how are you all? Um, if you can't tell, I'm a little out of it. Uh, so today's July 5th, for reference. Um, and the 4th of July is a very big celebration in the U.S. Specifically, they try to blow up as much of the U.S. as possible. And my backyard neighbors are asshats that constantly do it and have been for the past three weeks. Um... Problem being that I, as I've mentioned in the previous video, uh, explosions are a bit of a trigger for me. And I have not really slept in a week all that well, especially not last night. Okay. Who knows, maybe I'll end up getting a different character at some point, but I think that a flying ranged character would be more useful than, say, a sorcerer that constantly dies. Even the ranged character has better stats, like, defense-wise. Yeah. Five more defense... Or, sorry, yeah, five more defense and 16 more hit points. Yeah, he's gonna survive a lot better. So yeah, um, I'm rather tired. That's why I'm doing this right now instead of anything else. That, and I'm waiting for my groceries to arrive. It should arrive in about 10 minutes or so, so I'm gonna have to pause when that happens. Mountain. Let's finally fight the Battle of Mountain. I've only been recording for 13 and a half minutes. All right, first off, let's spread the good word. At some point, I'm going to get boost two. It's just going to take a while, because I still have five more levels before I start getting new spells. Uh, Kiwi... Oh, by the way, have you... Yep, you're at 99 MP, so Jaha will almost certainly be the first to question mark, question mark. Uh, although, with the mod that I have, nothing actually appears in question marks, but whatever. What's around? Not a whole bunch. So, Luke, that's perfectly fine for you to stay at. Also, my stomach's very upset this morning. It's likely fairly unhappy with my dietary choices at the moment. It's amazing how low Rick's MP is by comparison to uh, Kiwi's. I mean, Kiwi has many levels of unpromotedness, for lack of a better way of phrasing it, um, to increase all of her base stats, but Vickers are supposed to have more MP. 
Oh, I wanted to do a quick tour of the enemies. So, as usual, Boatmasters are now normal enemies. So we have normal enemies that are doing, uh, have over 100 attack. That's always cool. They have mage staves. Nice. I want one. Um, so yep, yeah, we still have the stupid Pegasus Knights. Along with Cerberus with gobs of attack. But we also now have Mudman. Mudman has 118 attack. So keep in mind, in Base Shining Force 2, all of these just appeared as question marks for attack. I should say, Base Shining Force 2 at super difficulty, which is what I'm playing at, if I remember right. I have to watch my first video again. Um, this is one of the things the difficulty does, is adjust these stats. It doesn't adjust what enemies are in the game. It doesn't adjust what types of enemies there are or anything like that. It just adjusts stats and a little bit of AI scripting. So... I now know that this has 118 attack, which is nasty, and they're also resistant to fire, because golems are resistant to fire in this. You have aura too. Dang. Just dang. And if only those devil soldiers actually used their abilities, I would be in trouble, because then they would be spreading the good word about boost, and that's just not allowed. By the way, how far can you move? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm definitely in range. Good to know. Okay. Yep, you should come up and attack Rick. It's gonna hurt. Especially when I get critted. What is it with this game and critting me so much? Time for you to be a die. Yeah, I get to crit you right back. For the same amount of damage, actually. Um, ooh, that's not a great position to be in. Because remember, we're going to have a freeze 3 hitting us. You know what? It's going to die from other things. We're fine. Let's talk about boost. Have you heard the good word today? Sladen has now heard the good word. So has Ulrich. And so is Freya. Freaking weird Pegasus Knights. I'm gonna move over a little bit. Yeah, that's the most cost-effective way of doing it. I think I could have gotten away with Blast 2, but I didn't want to try. Nope, I couldn't. This Blast 3 does 14-ish. Ninja. I am ninja. Yes, ninja. Hmm. This might be dangerous. But I'm doing it anyway. I'm just that type of person. You are the weakest of my bones, or my archers. You're going to hit me with a freeze three. Interesting. Ah, my food is arriving. Stab. This Bowie is one of my lower level characters. Oh, I'm not scrolled properly. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no, actually, Chester is. And my archers. My archers! And Janet, who can now no longer hit. Oh well. It's 
snip. Oh, really? You're not dead yet? Stupid Archer's not getting extra bonus attack. Gonna be mostly dead. Ah, nah. My kingdom for defense. Really, I really just need more defense on everybody. You can't reach. I'm not doing so great in the tactics department today, am I? punch in the face. You don't get to live. Ooh, yay, I got the mage staff. Nice. So if I remember right, the mage staff has a really nifty ability on it. Um, I think it's Blaze 3? I'm gonna look that up quickly. One moment. Uh, let's see. Is it Blaze 3? Mage Staff. No, it's only Blaze 2. Never mind. It's not very good at all. It is technically a uh, Mithril item, but um, that's not a very good Mithril item. Uh, just heal yourself for now. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this so I can go grab my groceries because uh, I did not hear a doorbell. I'm assuming that they didn't bother ringing it. Well, I'm back again. Uh, OBS crashed because I accidentally moved one window slightly over and back a bit, which caused everything to minimize. And OBS doesn't like recording things if they're minimized and it crashed. Grumble. So I'm going to have to just merge the videos when I'm done. It's a thing. It happens. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, you are very heavily damaged. Luke is in the red. I'm going to hold off on using Luke. Much as that pains me because ninja. So actually, Luke should probably just stay there. There's one of the ones that I need to level up. <laughs> Don't. Oh. <laughs> He's got hit points at least. He's gonna get hit upside the face by that dude. One, two, three, four, five. Won't get hit by him at least. Um, you've got 93 attack. You've got 58 defense. 93 minus 58 is 45. 35. You've got 35 hit points, you're fine. I'm for oh, spear. It's the first time we've seen that animation. Hmm. <laughs> cool. This has not gone well so far. Just doing a quick XP count to update my spreadsheet. 
Oh. Also, I just realized that my average thing is probably a little bit off. So, uh, the way I have my spreadsheet working is that it calculates an average two different ways. The first way is by uh, calculating the average of everybody who can't level themselves up. So that's everybody who doesn't have either boost or heal or aura if I had anybody in the party with aura. Uh, the second way I'm calculating average is just a flat-out average of all characters. Um, but my average got messed up. There we go. That looks better. Um, and basically what it is is that if you're green, you're below average on average for um, the non-Healy characters. If you're red highlight, that means you're above average for everybody. And if you're just white background red text, you're in the middle in there, basically, where you're above average for the non healies but below average counting everybody. Um, sorry, above average for the non-self-leveling characters. That's probably a better way of phrasing it. So, um, when I moved characters around, the formulas got messed up. So, this is actually the correct formula. So, I should be aiming at trying to get these four more XP. These for getting more XP, it's not that big of a deal, but I shouldn't be aiming for it. And the ones that are in red highlight, they don't need more XP. It's the ninja plus the three characters who can self-level, so that's not too surprising. <sighs> Miss Bowie just dies everywhere at this point. talk about. Um, let's see. So, oh, I don't know if I've actually talked about this before. So, there's a general turn-based strategy concept that I use for most games which are hit points as a resource. So you'll notice that I'm not really aiming for the, oh, you're going to get hit really bad and that's going to suck. I've been aiming more for the, oh, um, you can take this hit, you're fine. Um, I'm sure that some of you have noticed that type of thing going on. And the reason being is that I view hit, hit points are a resource, just like MP is. Um, what that means is that, yes, I am going to be spending a large amount of resources on any given thing. I'm taking out that necromancer before it goes again. Um, I just level up. That probably puts Bowie into the red highlight range now. 14.32, uh, yeah. Oops. Definitely. Okay. Um... Darn, what was I saying? Oh, um, HP is a resource, MP is a resource. So this is a very different way from the way I first started playing this game. Um, I was going based off of what my father liked doing for this game, which was, and the way he played most strategy RPGs in general. It's not hit points are in, or hit points are not just not a resource. Neither's MP, and you should do everything possible to not use either one of them. Which, I kind of don't like that concept. Um, so all it means is that you don't use all of your cool abilities.
Freya should be going before that Pegasus Knight. I hope so. Oh! That was lucky. Okay, we're fine. Ooh, somebody actually finally attacked Luke. Let me guess, you can one-shot. Nope. Okay, good. Janet really needs a better weapon. Matt, you should be able to kill. You're not going to be able to survive the bone attack, though. There's no way in hell you'd do that. So Freya's probably going to die. Nothing I can really do about that and actually be useful. damage. Freya would have been dead regardless. Even if that wasn't a crit. Um, the hit points are a resource thing means that I tend to take a lot more damage than a lot of other players in strategy RPGs do. And I just make sure I have enough healing capacity to be able to heal them back up. Because at that point, rather than it being an HP resource, it's an MP resource. Which I much prefer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill the Cerberus with Luke, aren't I? Because there's nobody else that's going to be in range this turn. And they're squishies. Yep. Oh well. Seriously, Bobby? You have the slade to finish him off, as usual. Speed, defense, agility. No attack again. <sighs> it's actually even higher now. Uh, 23. You notice that everybody's like solid or. White background's gone away? That's because I have too many higher level characters that aren't mages now. Okay. I know there's injured people over here. Not as many as I thought. Okay. Just heal me again. Meryl? What is Citizen Kitty? Alright, what's over here? You all have movement of five or six? Six. Meryl? Wanna come up and say hi again? My cats are heavily affected by the fireworks, or two of the three are. Boo actually doesn't care.
we have anybody down there? No. Just that mass of people. Ugh. That's what I was expecting to happen, although not the angle I was expecting. Randolph got hit by 30, he can take one more hit. They are spread out properly, okay. over here, other than Kiwi herself. Nobody but Kiwi, okay. Bird brain. Um, where is safe from you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only on the right side. Cool. So this is dumb. And I can't reach with magic. Drat. Uh, Rick is hopelessly far behind at this point. I think this route would actually be a shorter route. Which one, can I heal three and reach? Nah, I can only heal Jaha and Jaha doesn't need it. Okay. Take out one devil soldier now. expecting that. Bowie's a much squishier target, that's why I'm confused. Elric, I think you can just finish off that soldier. Bonk. Yep. Good. That means only one soldier to deal with. Chester, please gain enough XP to level up. Yay! Okay. Yay! HP and D uh, HP defense and attack increase. Ugh. So Chester, you are thirteen point six nine now. Okay, that's good. Janet, stand there for now. I should be able to heal Randolph before his next attack. Should. So move that off the screen. Also, move my retro arc over. So I'm actually looking in the correct direction now. Sorry about that. Really need to figure out a better way of mounting my camera. So, my camera's actually on a tripod behind my monitor. The problem is that it's a full-blown tripod, not just a tiny one, and that doesn't work so great. Yep, I'm gonna weaken.
Sorry, Kiwi, you're on healing duty instead of punching duty. You have way too high of a level right now. Th that's going to help. HP 3. Uh, Bowie's in the classification if I shouldn't be using him, and also that's in danger zone range. I think I'm just going to stay put. Blade is also too high of a level. Um, Just gonna put you there for now. Luke is also too high of a level. Okay, who needs to... Yeah. May needs to... Elric needs to... Elric should be able to go before it goes again. Um, Randolph needs to, Janet needs to, Freya needs to. Freya's dead. Can't do much with that. Chester, I'll take. So I really need to level up Elric. Oh yeah, Chester's lower XP than Elric. Never mind. Shoot to kill. Thump. Only 37 XP though, so they're getting a little lower level for me. Oh, that's right. May's the one that needed to. Let's see if I can get May to do it instead. May, go ahead and snip, please. That will definitely level you up. Yeah, 50 XP. HP, attack, defense, agility, okay. That means you're 13.23 now. There we go. That's not too bad. Another heal onto Randolph to get him all the way back up. Okay, level 15. There was no MP increase on there, was there? Seventy-six for Rick before. Oh, no, there was. Okay. <clears throat> Park Janet there as my bait. Bait successful. Nice counterattack. Randolph is still in the low level club, so he gets to attack. Oh. Really? I tried Randolph. I tried. Pegasus Knight getting snipped. Snip. Color level 14 now. With no attack increase. Again. I'm getting really tired of that. you're doing on hit points uh, weakening doesn't really do much so instead I'll go preach again
he weighs at 16.22. bet if I actually annotated their XP, this wouldn't be too bad. 15.59 for Jaha. And 15.03 for Rick. Hmm. It's actually still in the red zone. I was not expecting that. problem is of these goobers, so six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd actually be safe from that one. But five. Two, three, four, five. Nope. Definitely not safe there. Sorry, Bowie, you're having to stay back again. Rick, is there anybody injured that we are concerned with? I might as well just heal one Randolph. Okay, I've got to see what in the world these notifications are because this is ridiculous. for one of them to kill though. So let's go ahead and save state and move you someplace like here. Chester, you are an excellent person to snip. Snip. 35. Chester gained 49 XP. That should have been enough to level. 13.54. That's lower than what's listed here. I must have typoed somewhere. Oh well. Alright. Luke, you stay down there. May, you stay over there. Janet, you're now bait. You're still bait, I should say. Problem is, I don't know if you can take a hit from both of them. how I can't use Bowie. This is dangerous. Especially when I don't do much damage. What the heck? Are those terrain effect 30% instead of 0% like I was thinking? Must be. Yeah, it is 30%. Okay, that explains it. I was thinking that was much lower. 
Taking 31. That's danger territory because I'm going to get hit by another one. Okay, I'm at two. Two is a perfectly cromulent number, right? And those are all high defense, not low defense, like I was thinking. And you dodged, really? Dang it. Am I in range of the golem? Golem has a speed of four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Yes, I am. Crap. I'm gonna go after the lower one then. 15. level 16 now. I couldn't really do much about that though because um, I needed them dead. <laughs> so 16, zero, zero. And he has now reached 100 MP. So we have our first question mark, question mark character. Hooray, go for Jaha. Uh, 16. Yeah, that heal will allow uh, Janet to take one more hit, so that's worth it. Okay. Your attacks are not so bad. Yeah, this is fine. Stabbing's time. Stab. Ooh, two attacks, too. Well, you're dead. I guess Luke's leveling up. Uh, HP, MP, attack, defense, agility. Bolt four. That is absolutely a mistake in what Wreck gave me level-wise. Bolt 4 is not normally a spell you see in Shining Force 2. Not that it's not in the game, it's just that you have to be so ludicrously high level that you're having to fight the final boss over and over and over again for XP. Because Bolt 4 is the most powerful spell in the game. Well, Rajin 3 is the same power, but still. Uh, Bolt 4 does 60 points of damage for reference. Which... Yeah, somebody who's that level should not be seen. Okay, you can just sit there. Sit there. So I'm basically treating this area kind of like a little blind area so I can just snipe out. Which should work. Janet, one more heal one, and that's good enough. So Randolph ha currently has 61 defense. Janet has 63. They're comparable. I'll use Randolph to lure him out because Randolph has more hit points. Our first golem. Well, no, it isn't. Second golem. 44 damage. Wow. Unfortunately, that means that Janet doesn't have anything to do back there. Yep. I was expecting that. Randolph is not looking so hot right now. And I can't reach for blasting him back. Oh well. What I can do though is preach. Yeah, that's gonna be my best preach. I'm a little concerned that that's the boss. Oh, 
Well, if it is the boss, I'm about to find out. So, that is the area of effect for Bolt. Well, I mean, there's trees in the way, but it's a three range attack for a single target, even though Bolt's the one that has the massive area of effect normally. So let's take a look at Bolt against the Mudman. Bolt 4. 51 damage. It's nuts. That will finish off the Mudman. Probably should have somebody other than Slade do it, but I want the Mudman dead fast. Okay. This will probably kill off the Shaman. I'll waste one enemy. It's not that big of a deal. Or this will probably kill off all of them, I should say. Just leveled up, though, so that's nice. Yeah, you actually got attack and really good other stats. Yep. It's fine. There may be some survivors somewhere. Oh, wow, I have no idea what accent that was. There may be some survivors somewhere. Oh. What's this strange looking rock? Do not touch my rock. To defeat all of those devils? I was wondering why it became so quiet, so it became quiet so suddenly. Are you a survivor? Are you from Mound? What's your name? I am Zink. I am not from Mound. Then where are you from? The past. What do you mean? I cannot explain. I am what I am. This is all that I can that I am. Punk. I've never seen anyone like you. Where are the people of Mount? Were there any survivors? Some. So if you can't tell from the appearance, Zink's a robot. Shining Force 2 is science fantasy. This is the very, very first hint in the game that is not just fantasy. That's good news. And where are they? Down here. Follow me. Bowie, oh, hurry! Follow Zink! Zink knows where they're hiding. I'll just get a quick update on party. How am I doing on time? I have no idea. I think I had about 15 minutes before, so I will end up exiting at the end of this. Okay. Chester is at 14.03. Jaha is 16.2. Slade is 14.68. Kiwi is 16.71. May is 13.3. Luke is 15.59. Rick, 15.53. Wow. Looks higher level than Rick. That's impressive. Ah, Janet was 1 XP off. Ugh. Getting a little unbalanced. Also, I need to raise Freya, but I have to do that in here. Should probably actually put on my headphones now that I'm not waiting for a grocer. Um, theoretically, waiting for a phone call. Bacalon abandoned us. Can you imagine how many people were killed? So yeah, these are the survivors of the mountain. Of the mound incident, I should say. I think almost everything in here is empty or dark. Nope. Oh, there is a running pimento. Good, I can increase movement speed of somebody. 
I wasn't scared. It was hard for me not to go out and fight. Tom's lying. I know he wet his pants just now. The devils were defeated? Is it true? I can go outside now. Yay! Zink hit us here when the devils invaded. Guyan of Ribble is behind me. He stood guard at the west gate. So you'll notice that there's two characters that have all caps. Ah, uh, yes, that. We'll have to come back to that in a moment. Anyway, we're just going to be finishing up Mountain Stuff. So that's a messed up sprite. Um, that's Sheila's sprite, not Guyanne's sprite. And the voice isn't right either. You're not from Pakalon. Oh, so that's right. So there is a running thing about... Um, Guyanne's voice is never correct here. So the voice sound effect that you hear is actually the one in the base game. That one's not a uh, randomizer glitch. Um, but... So there is a running thing about Guyan being misgendered in the game. We're from Grenseal, Mr. Guyan. Grenseal? I've never heard of it. It's near Ribble in, in South Parmesia. Near my home? Are you sure? We settled here just over a year ago. So it's been about a year now since the settlement. Block tunnel is, uh, sorry. The block tunnel is open now. Yes. Now you can go back home. I've been waiting for this day. By the way, why did you come to North Parmesia? To defeat devils. Really? We don't want another tragedy like Moun. We're going to Grand's Island to kill the King of the Devils. Hmm. Can't go back now! But your family? Oh, I know. I'll miss them. But I believe they'll understand. Let me go with you! Guyan the Red Baron! Ha! So that's not actually that far off. So Guyan is normally your promoted um, gladiator. Um, Pre-promoted gladiator, I should say. And he's usually useless because you really don't need another tank at this point of the game, especially one that has worse stats than Jaha. But barons are very useful characters and red barons are actually even more useful. I don't want to explain why, because it's a spoiler. You'll understand later. Eh, Angel Wing's not all that useful. Oops. Oh yeah, I'm going to need to note down Guyanne's stats. But first, let's go ahead and leave. I happen to overhear your conversation with Guyan. I want to go to Grand's do. They decide to take the ancient soldier Zinc with them. So, this is an interesting point. So, we know that Shining Force 2 has some messed up voices from time to time. And we know that Guyan's voice is messed up. So, it might be reflecting Guyan's voice right now. Or it could actually be the narrator of the game. There is a narrator of the game. We see the narrator whenever we go to exit or start launch the game. And, um, which one call it? Um, oh, what was I saying? Um, the narrator is a woman. It's the old crone that's summoning you here type of thing, you being the player. And we do actually eventually meet the narrator, but 
Um, this could actually be the narrator speaking. There is no time to waste. Got a long party now. And everybody's back. Which means we need to go back here and do the awesome. So most of Mountain just stays up here for reference. Uh, do I actually have to walk all the way back to town? Oh, there we go. Oh, you're cute! <coughs> well, um, uh, can I paint your portrait? I'm really curious what happens if you say no. Oh, please, it won't take long. Will you pose for me? Okay, it is a butt that must. Excellent! Then, would you take a stand over there in front of the flowers? Bloop, 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 bloop. Finished! It's you! Ah, oh, how talented I am, hmm? Just... Yep. It's a thing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start finishing this up now. Like I said, I'm just doing mountain things and then we're stopping. Because the next video is a bit of a doozy. You saved us! You saved our town! Yes, now please revive Freya. Gosh, Freya's exhausted. Actually, let me do a real save. Yeah. Okay, we're going to stop here. I'm actually going to have the other stuff be for next time because I'm going to figure things out. Bye, everybody! Also, I need to merge the videos since it crashed part of the way through.